Hey, Mark here at Falcon Hybrid Solutions. I'm here to explain the difference between a first and a second generation Prius cell. Here's the first generation cell. It was manufactured by Panasonic and was used in the 2000 to 2003 Toyota Prius. This cell is, this module actually, has six cells in it and has a nominal voltage between 7.2 and 8.5 volts depending on its state of charge. This module is between 11 and 14 years old, depending which which uh, actual uh, year manufacturer it had. And surprisingly, many of these cells are still usable today. The cell itself, the module itself, has many flaws. One of the most notable flaws is the O-ring on the uh, terminals tend to leak, allowing electrolyte to uh, soup out and dry up as this this uh, resin looking goo that some people may confuse for glue. It's not glue, it's the capacity of that cell oozing out with the electrolyte. Another flaw with this battery is it only has one connection on the top. That causes more resistance between each cell. There's only one connection. All the capacity has to come up from the bottom in order to go into the next cell. Another flaw with this cell is that its outer casing is plastic. Plastic is not very heat conductive. And being that, the battery has a hard time dissipating heat. In 2004, Toyota invented, or actually Panasonic invented, the second generation cell. Second generation cell has, most notably, a metal sheet, which covers the um, outer sides of both ba uh, both sides of the battery. This allows for more heat dissipation. They also fixed the O-rings on the edges. No leaks. They also fixed the uh, connection problem. They put a second connection on the bottom. You see the, they had to weld these pockets on in order to take care of those uh, connections and for manufacturing purposes. This causes, creates a cell that has lower resistance than the first generation cells. And being as it has lower resistance, that means it has higher energy. And they are able to use, with the same size electric motor, just 28 of these cells versus 38 of these cells for the first generation Prius. Now, that being the case, they were able to lower the costs and the second generation Prius um, they also lowered the costs on the metal. The metal is a, is, is a lower grade, um, lower gauge steel, and so on and so forth. Now, for first generation Prius owners, there is a distinct advantage because they can, their electronics in their car is built for a 38 module battery, and we can put in the second generation cells into the first generation pack. This has several distinct advantages. First of all, these cells are much newer than the first generation cells that are available, used generation cell, generation one cells. So second generation cells are between nine, uh, between five and nine years old. Also, these cells were designed to run the same size electric motor with only 28 of them. When you have 30 of them, you have a bigger and uh, stronger battery than the original battery that Toyota ever put in. And many of our customers feel a actual difference in performance in the car when swapping over to a second generation cell. Those are all the advantages. What you buy is your own choice, but keep in mind the first generation pack is only expected to last around a year and it goes for $950 as of today. Um, the Gen 1 with Gen 2 cells goes for $1450, comes in a six month warranty. There's also cells from the 2010 or later Priuses. Those are generation three cells, and those go for 1800 in the first generation pack. Uh, 